grace and peace to you. I remember Joe Kalis, I am the pastor here at Pinkland United Methodist Church, one of the churches that is proud to have been home to Steve Cox, who we celebrate today. This past May, Pinkland hosted the memorial worship service to celebrate Steve's life. I'm told there were so many musicians that Steve wanted to play during that memorial service that it was very clear we were going to have to have a memorial concert <laughs> to honor Steve, and that's what we do today. Most of Steve's beloved family is present here. Could I ask them to stand so we can give thanks to God? <laughs> Is here today, but not all of them. Steve's beloved wife Susan is recovering after unexpected surgery yesterday. Oh. Lord have mercy. <laughs> I gather the family is FaceTiming with her now so that she can listen and watch us. Hold on, okay. Uh, Susan, make sure you're on mute <laughs> so we don't want to be hearing any hospital sounds at this concert. As a reminder, please check your devices so that all of the music, all of the noise is coming from here and not out there. Let's begin with a prayer. Almighty God, we give you thanks for the life and the ministry of our good friend Steve Cox, for his music, his faith, his dedication, and his love for his family, his students, and for all his church communities. We are grateful, God, for the time we had with him, for the music he offered and the music he brought forth from all of us. As we listen and sing and play today in celebration of his life, Lord, let our music be a praise to you. Amen. Amen. Now, our first piece is from Pinkland United Methodist Church, our choir. It's a new musical piece. Neighbor, Glenn Buck. Is Glenn in the house? Yeah. Glenn. Wonderful. This piece is called Under the Far Horizon and dedicated to the families who died during COVID and based on the holy words of Psalm 135. Let's welcome the people.
England Church Choir is the first performing group. We are the next performing group. We're going to sing a hymn picked out for this occasion by Susan in the Red United Methodist Hymnal, hymn number 154, I'll Hail the Power of Jesus' Name. We'll sing verses 1, 2, 3, and 6. Let's rise as we're able to sing as we're able. say a few words about Steve, but to keep it brief, and I was, how do you do that? I mean, the man was just incredible, and it was an incredible influence on my life. And about 9.30 one morning, a year or so ago, Allison sent 
me a message and said, Sam, Daddy wants you to sing that song that you wrote at his memorial service. And it just blew me away. I mean, I know he had been suffering with cancer. And uh, I just, I figured the time was coming soon. Um, I said, absolutely, whatever you need. And then about 10.30 that morning, I, um, she posted that he had passed on. And this is a song I wrote about loved ones of mine that have passed on, as well as Steve. And what would I want to tell them? What do I want to tell them? And it's a message Steve wants to tell you. It's called, My Savior Knows My Name. The angel of death is drawing near, and my time here on earth is done. My work for the Lord is over now, and it's time for me to go home. So don't worry about me when my time here is done.
so much love. That's the thing. Um, every time I think of him, I think about the love that he shared with his students. So my sisters are here, Darnell and Darnay, and um, we don't have our track, so we're going to try to do I'm free. Somehow another didn't work. We're going to try to do it out the just a verse of it, and then we're going to do um, my mom. Any of you know my mom, Mary Woodruff, she loved to sing I'll Search Heaven for You. And that's a special song. We'll all be together there. We'll see Steve next time. Thank you. For so long, I search for life's meaning, enslaved by the world and my greed. Then the door of my
sister's gonna need this one. That's our mother's to get her to see her song last. <laughs> <laughs>
this incredible musical talent. Um, I'm just really honored that Steve wanted us to come and play. That just, um, it always blows away because all we do is have fun up here. So, <laughs> if you are too. Now, don't kill me. <laughs>
this next one includes a, uh, a medley of two songs, and uh, we gave this to uh, Susan the other day, the words of the names of the song. And uh, you'll see the second one is called More Path Grant, or the, wait, oh wait, no, no, they're not doing More Path Grant. Yeah, we're playing Goblet. Oh, okay, sorry about that. Cancel, I'll hold off on that, in about two minutes I'm going to talk about it. <laughs> No, that, the, actually the second tune with, that we put together with this one is written by um, a gentleman out in the Roanoke area, um, and they have a band that has several dulcimers, and they're called uh, No Strings Attached, which we have quite a few strings. <laughs>
Yeah, this next one is actually the very, very first piece that Jean and I learned to play together um, when my husband surprised me with this hammer dulcimer and Jean had discovered her recorder from college days in her attic and we decided to see if we could do anything with these two instruments and that was like 20 some years ago and we learned a few songs yeah. and uh, have had a great time and uh, yeah. we're grateful you're all here today to hear us and thank you very much.
we're just looking at it here. The bluegrass and, and Irish music are very closely related.
also give a little hint that we like to play the Irish or Celtic music. And one day, Patty was reading her Bible, and she came upon a verse in Psalms. Listen to this, high and low, rich and poor, for my words are wise. I listen to many proverbs. I will express my riddle on the harp. <laughs> Sure sounded like a name to us. <laughs> the riddle will be where is the heart, right? <laughs> Which we did finally get. <laughs> we just don't bring it every time. Uh, it's, it's, a lot to, it's a lot to haul around. Uh, All right, so we just go with the hip, with the riddle part. Then. Oh, yeah.
part, I wonder if David would come forward and speak on behalf of the family. On behalf of the family first, I want to say thanks to Pastor Joe, to Linwood, to the choir, all of the musicians, to the staff, and the members of people who have made this afternoon possible. It has exceeded our expectations. I want to say that our hope as a family, uh, if it is possible, is that this perhaps becomes an annual event in Steve's memory and in honor of God who gifted him with an incredible talent and love of music as a way of saying thanks to God for all the blessings of his life. To that end, Pastor Joe mentioned that there are some offering plates out in the narthex and if you have appreciated this time this afternoon, you may show your thanks by making an offering there. And since this has been a sacred occasion, and since this is a sanctuary, the less noise your money makes as it goes on, <laughs> the better. It's right there. Would you do me a favor, please, uh, and pick it up, and then the rest of you all indulge me, please. Move out here to the middle. Out here. <laughs> West. Okay, Joe. Joe will do it. Joe will do it. <laughs> now, if you would please turn it to everyone there, you all say, Hi, Susan. Hi, Susan. <laughs>
congregational hymn, all of it is worth offering for God's sake because God has done so much for us. And what we do in turn is offer it back to God. Music is not to be performed for our sake when we are here. Rather, music is to be offered to God, and that is our right of worship. Pastor Joe hit the right note. I, I've not heard him sing. I don't know how to talk about that. But when he said when it was time to sing the hymn, now it is your turn to perform. You are performing for the audience of one. And that was Steve's sense of things. And he also rightly understood that a life offered in praise to God is right living. And that's what Steve Cox did all of his life. He was an amazing man. They were a wonderful, beautiful couple. This has been a wonderful afternoon for us. And we thank you all for your part in it. With the pastor's kind permission, I'm going to ask you to stand and receive a benediction. Go forth in love to serve God and your neighbor in everything that you do. May those in this world to whom love is a stranger find in you most generous friends. And may the blessing of God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Amen.